Can Iraq rebuild its economy? Iraq's oil minister discusses plans to strengthen its oil industry, diversify its economy and attract foreign investors. Iraq is looking to strengthen its economy after decades of war, sanctions, sectarian division and the rise of the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, ISIL or ISIS. It has achieved some progress in recent years thanks to its oil industry. Iraq is the second largest producer in the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, and oil provides roughly 85% of the government's revenue. As the country enters a period of relative calm, Iraq's oil minister, Amr Gadbin, says the government is working to expand its oil industries and improve infrastructure, which includes building more refineries and investing in southern gas fields and export routes. It is also looking to increase production in nationally controlled oil fields while continuing to work with international companies. We have now contracts with at least 10 major international oil companies, he told Al Jazeera. And if we move forward with them to the plateaus that they have committed themselves to, there will be at least a 2 million barrel per day increase on top of what we are now. But as Iraq expands its oil industry, it also hopes to rely less on it. According to Gadbin, the government plans to diversify its economy, invest in the private sector and attract more foreign investors. For him, it is important that Iraq is less oil dependent. It is an unhealthy situation, we don't like it, I don't like it personally. We've been trying to break this situation and keep away from total dependence on oil but it is not an easy task, he says, explaining that a country that has faced devastating wars, years of sanctions, and the presence of ISIL has had little time to develop its economy. The government also plans to become more self-reliant in resources such as electricity and gas. Regional politics and of sanctions against Iran, one of its major partners, are impacting its economy. But making Iraq more business-friendly comes with its own challenges. A slow bureaucracy and corruption hamper the country, which ranks 168 out of 180 countries on Transparency International's Corruption Perceptions Index. We make sure that all the procedures and all the requirements for engaging with contractors are to be clean and to be away from corruption, Gadwin says. I verbally inform all contractors when they come and see me whether they are IOX, international oil companies, or Iraqi private sector or Arab investors. That you don't have to deal with corrupt people whether within the ministry or outside. Gadwin believes the world will depend on oil for years to come but says Iraq is still planning for a time when it can no longer rely on it. Definitely we have to think about this seriously because it's not only us, this is also the future generation of Iraq we have to care about and there are now, of course, talks within the government to not only diversify the economy but also to think seriously about a sovereign fund and also bring in with time other sources of energy, he says. As an example, we are now seriously taking measures about the renewable energy, especially the solar power to provide electricity within the term of this government, source, Al Jazeera www .al -jazeera .com slash programs slash talk to Jazeera slash 2019 slash 05 slash Iraq. Rebuild economy 190 trillion 510 billion 124 million 906,515 HTML. Foreign Minister heads to Kuwait. Baghdad, Foreign Minister Muhammad Ali Al Hakim headed to Kuwait on Saturday to head the work of the joint ministerial committee between the two countries. The Foreign Ministry said in a statement received by Al Furat News that Minister Muhammad Ali Al Hakim left the country heading to the state of Kuwait at the head of a ministerial delegation to preside over the work of the Iraqi Kuwaiti Joint Ministerial Committee. He added that the work of the committee continues to convene for two days, is over. Parliamentary finance reveals the remaining balance after financing the current and investment budgets. Baghdad Al Furat News, a member of the Finance Committee Magda Tamimi, Saturday, the balance remaining after the funding of current and investment budgets. Tamimi said in a statement received, Euphrates News, a copy of it, the proportion of the current budget has reached 95.7% and formed a salary ratio of 65.9% which is very high, the ratio of the investment budget amounted to 4.2%. While the proportion of oil revenues 94.5% compared to 5.4% for non-oil revenues, which means modest contribution of non-oil revenues, which makes the funding of the budget vulnerable to fluctuations resulting from the change in oil prices, indicating that these figures for the period from January 1, 2019 to April 30, 2019, Tamimi called for comprehensive review of the laws passed after 2003 to reconsider the distribution of incomes as well as activating and supporting the private sector and creating the appropriate environment for its development, Tamimi pointed to the ministerial platform of the government, which stressed the encouragement and stimulation of the investment environment in all sectors and the market economy, the value of the remaining balance of total revenues and the balance of the first period and after the financing of current and investment funds amounted to 16.08 trillion dinars, is over. Electricity to Basra from Saudi Arabia and Kuwait, soon. Economy News Baghdad, since the beginning of the 90s, the city of Basra in southern Iraq is facing a severe shortage of electricity, and despite spending large sums after 2003 to implement projects to develop the sectors of production, transport and distribution, 
But the electricity crisis was not addressed radically. The province's more than 4 million people are still exhausted and their suffering from the crisis is compounded by the summer when electricity consumption increases with temperatures rising to more than 45 degrees Celsius. Prior to each summer, the Ministry of Electricity used to make new promises to improve the electricity sector. Late last year it announced the formation of a crisis cell to plan and take rapid action in preparation for the current summer. The electricity situation would be much better than the previous summer. Those traditional promises crashed on the rock reality by the summer Basra needs 3,800 megawatts of electric power to supply all its areas with electricity continuously without interruption. If the Ministry of Electricity is able to supply this quantity of energy, some joints of the distribution networks are not able to pass them. In light of this, the local government expects the governorate to be electricity supplied during the current year up to 21 hours a day budget hours do not seem appropriate compared to the amount of money spent on electricity sector development projects in Basra. Local budgets for the province's budget have reached $2 billion and $250 million from 2009 to 2018. Weeks ago, the provincial council approved $137 million to improve the electricity sector and is expected to approve, after days, additional projects worth $9 million. Do not include these allocations funds transferred by the Ministry of Electricity from its budget on the work and projects in the province. The electricity crisis has been exacerbated by the political situation. The weakness of the electricity service and the intensification of competition for project contracts related to the sector have destabilized the local government in Basra more than once. In 2011, when the electricity sector deteriorated at the height of the summer, the overthrow of the former governor Chel Tagabud, where he was forced to resign under popular and political pressure after being besieged thousands of protesters inside the office of the province in 2017. The former governor resigned and left Iraq on the backdrop of differences of a political nature related to the project to buy electricity from a civil company through investment, and for a similar reason detained the head of the provincial council Sabah al bazuni for more than a year before being released and regained his post from late last year. According to Sheikh Mansur al-Tamimi, a former deputy and one of the leaders of Basra, the contracts to buy electric power from the private sector is marred by a lot of corruption, which is left behind by party parties. And the regulatory authorities did not deal seriously with this file so far despite the existence of complaints to the Integrity Commission noting that the huge sum spent on such projects was better to spend on the construction of new government plants to produce electricity, especially since the funds paid to one company only enough to build a plant with a capacity of 1,000 megawatts. Under a bilateral agreement, Iraq has been importing electricity from Iran over four lines since 2010 including the Shalamja line, which runs from Khuzestan province to the province of Basra, and carries an electricity capacity of 400 to 500 megawatts. The local government in Basra has requested an increase of 700 megawatts of imported energy. In the same vein, Iraq is seeking to link with a Gulf power grid through Saudi Arabia and Kuwait through Basra as the closest geographically the head of the electricity committee in the Basra Provincial Council Mujibaziz al Hassani said that the project of the Gulf linkage is divided into two phases. In the first phase is the link with Kuwait, and it is hoped to complete the stage after months. And then the link with Saudi Arabia as a second stage is expected to be completed after Kuwait has completed the technical procedures related to the first phase of the project, and Kuwait in turn completed the requirements of connectivity. But there is a Kuwaiti concern of a technical problem related to the frequency fluctuation of the Iraqi electricity network because of the instability of loads, and it is hoped to overcome the problem soon in the province of Basra which is officially the economic capital of Iraq, has several electrical power plants, some of them dating back to the 70s of the last century, such as the Hartha Thermal Station, 1979, New Jabla Thermal Station, 1974, Coral, Zuber Gas Station, 1977, such as the Rumail Gas Station, which was inaugurated in late 2013, and the New Jabla Gas Station, which was completed in early 2016. All these stations feed the national network with electricity. Each Iraqi governorate has a share of the energy determined by the Ministry of Electricity based on its population census climatic conditions.